Welcome to your Boy Saturday with me, your host, Shondara. Hey, all you savvy naturalistas and ohana, welcome to another episode of DIY Saturday. Today we won't be working with Miracle Glow Oil, but today I have a really easy, nice, calming DIY for you today. Today we're making lavender shower melts. Now lavender shower melts are an easy, relaxing, calming way for you to relax and soothe your body while you're in the shower. With summer being here, we're having fun and we're having crazy and we're not relaxing. So you may want to calm yourself down and relax while you're in the shower so you guys let's get into the major and your ingredient you'll need for this d or white saturday you will need lavender petals and you can find lavender petals anywhere i will have a link down below where you can get lavender petals and they're falling all over me you guys <laughs> so you guys even though they're falling all over me and we won't be working with miracle glow oil today let's go make these really cool fun shower lavender melts and let's go so now we're going to make our easy lovely shower melts our lavender shower melts we won't be using Miracle Glow Oil today, but you can always find Miracle Glow Oil at SavvyNaturalista.com. I also wanted to say thanks so much for all the purchases of Miracle Glow Oil and helping support this show. I really, really appreciate it. Also remember Miracle Glow Oil does have 24 karat gold in it. So if you ever just do decide to purchase, just remember that little treat for you. So today we're gonna make our lavender shower melts, which is a lovely, lovely scentish shower melt and we're going to start off with of course one cup of baking soda I am using a half a cup because that's all I have so I'm going to do one cup twice with a half a cup so that's one cup or a half a cup twice not one cup twice sorry for that you guys so we're going to do a cup of baking soda you will need that we're also going to use a half a cup of cornstarch However, if you don't have cornstarch, it is just optional for this one. And so you just wanna add a half a cup of cornstarch. Now you want to add a quarter cup of citric acid. You can use any type of citric acid. I just got this on Amazon, so I am gonna use it. It is a quarter cup of citric acid. You guys, and just a whole bag. That big old lump that's in this bag. Get out, lump, get out, get out, get out. Oh, there we go. And you just want to mix this all together until the clumps come out. So, once we've mixed our concoction all together, now we're going to add our oil to it. We're going to do about a tablespoon of lavender oil, you guys. Um, this is a half a tablespoon, so I'm just going to do this twice. Half a tablespoon. That's a half a tablespoon of lavender oil. It's just to give it that very pungent and strong scent. You can use any type of lavender you like. I'm just using a lavender essential oil that I got off of Amazon.com. If you would like me to try any other essential oils, please let me know, you guys. By all means, I love, 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 love trying new things all the time. So once you've mixed this, make sure you mix in your lavender essential oil really, 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 really well. Make sure you get all those clumps up because that clumping is the lavender oil clumping up. And you don't want it to clump up just yet. And the tablespoon is perfect enough for the shower. Now, a lot of you ask me, uh, could you use alcohol to do your shower melts? By all means, go ahead and use alcohol if you like. I just prefer not to use alcohol due to the fact that I feel like it's a waste of product when it comes to shower melts. Um, it doesn't help the shower melt have a stronger scent. It just really doesn't. That's just my personal opinion, however. Um, you can take that with a grain of salt and you can try it. Maybe one next time we'll do a shower melt 
with alcohol instead of water but today we are using water water is easier dries out quicker and it's not a waste of product like it would be wasting alcohol for your shower melts in my personal opinion so once this is all mixed in like so you guys you want to start by adding water in the spray bottle you can use any spray bottle you like I'm, or you could just do a half a cup. I just like to spray as I go. So that's what we're gonna do. So before we add our water to our mixture, uh, we're gonna add lavender petals. Now this is just for visual effect. Many of you know I do photograph my recipes. So I tend to want them to look visually pleasing. And a lot of you actually do these DIYs to sell, which shocks me. Go ahead, little entrepreneurs. So if you're selling these DIYs, this would be a perfect visual effect as well for you to do if you do craft shows or stores or, you know, it's just a perfect visual effect for your little store, your little entrepreneurs out there. Uh, I hope I didn't tell Kitty saying that. So if I did, I'm sorry. I just... I'm just excited. I like when people tell me that they use my DIYs as bit ways of making money in business, okay? Oh, I just like it. So that's just how I am. So go, entrepreneurs. You are go. So now that we have this beautiful visual effect, now we're going to set it to the side. Now, this is optional for anyone. If you're using it to give away as gifts, this is all optional to use the lavender petals. But I like to have them ready before we add our water to our mixture. So now we're going to add our water to our mixture and I have a glove on because you know I like to get in there with my hands. So we just spray just a little bit. Just make sure you spray just a little bit and you spray as you go. And once it pretty much sticks together, your mixture is ready to add to it. So you want it moist, not too dry, not too wet because it will uh, disintegrate and evaporate as well into a big mess. So just make sure you mix, I mean spray or spritz as you go, you guys. That's all we're doing. And once it's a pretty much clumpy like so, we'll do a little bit more. You want, you can add color. Like right now I'm gonna do a pretty purple color for a few. So what I'm gonna do is set this to the side. I have a little bowl right here and we're going to add about a half a cup of the mixture, not too much, just a half a cup of the mixture, probably a little more. And then we're going to add a little bit of purple uh, mica color. Now this is just optional. It's actually an ultramarine uh, pink, but it comes out as a purple. So we're just gonna add a little, just a little, not a lot. That's enough. And then we're just gonna mix this in. And this is just another visual effect. Like you got, like I told you guys when I was doing the lavender buds, this is just a visual, a beautiful visual pleasing effect. I do a lot of photography for my DIYs. So since I'm always, it takes me about an hour or two hours to photograph for uh, DIY Saturday, I tend to want it to look visually pleasing so you guys will love it. And I know many of you come from Pinterest to see my DIY, so I like it to look cute. So this is just another visual effect for you guys. However, like I said, if you're selling it, you're an entrepreneur and you're selling these, by all means, add a purple. This purple sort of will give it a softer look. And so what we're going to do is do a few with white, a few with purple, and then we're going to blend a few up. And I got my mold on Amazon.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description box of this video where you can get this mold as well. You guys. So let me add a little more purple because it's a little too light for my taking. So we're just going to add a little more and mix that in. Okay, so now we're going to emold our beautiful lavender shower melts and let's emold these babies. 
Here is one, look how beautiful. Little edges are a little rough, but they're nice and solid. And this is just after a day, and it was also moist, so it took a little longer, and some of them did not come like this one, you guys see? And let's do another one. This one looks beautiful, see you guys. Let's do another one. This one. And another one. Oh, this one's kind of, oh, this one broke. <laughs> oh, it broke. It was cute too. Okay, let's do one of these in the middle. Look at this one, how beautiful it looks. Can you see? Oh, see how beautiful it looks? It's beautiful. So you guys, thanks so much for watching this easy lavender DIY shower melt. Make sure you pick up Miracle Glow Oil at SavvyNaturalista.com. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in our next episode of DIY Saturday. Boy, you guys.